Alright, what's up everybody? Levi Creations here for another video. And uh, this card trick I have for you today is a really cool one. Uh, I've, it's called How Did You Do That? And <clears throat> you can learn this trick also uh, from the card trick teacher. Uh, he, te he, re he teaches you a lot of magic, which is uh, really cool. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I would suggest checking out his channel because he just has tons of... Uh, tons of uh, tutorials of card tricks and also check out Andy Field Magic. He talks about him a lot too so uh, they're both really good magicians and uh, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I highly suggest uh, checking them out. But anyways this trick is called How Did You Do That? And let's get right into it. So I will perform it then I'll do the tutorial. But I want you to give me a number between 1 and 10. Let's say you said 2. 1, 2. Okay, the 8 of clubs. I'm going to take that 8 of clubs here and I'm going to assign it. Um, keep in mind that usually a spectator would be signing the card right now. Alright, I'll just do a yes here. And I just want this to dry. Okay, I think that is good enough here. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. All right, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put it in the middle here. Put it in the middle. Check this out. That's all I had to do. Actually, what what I just did there, I made one card in the deck turn blue. There it is. Just one. And that card is the Eight of Clubs, signed with my initials, AS. And uh, that's the trick. Now I can do the tutorial. Alright, so here's the tutorial on how did you do that. Um... What you need is a blue card. It's not a gimmick. It's just a regular card from uh, any blue deck. But you do need a gimmick card. You need a double-backed red card. Um, so that's what you need. Uh, so basically, this is the trick. You need your blue card on the bottom. Just check it out, stick here. All right, you need your blue card on the bottom, and your double-back card on top. So. To force the card, you you need to you need to know sleight of hand. Basically, you hold the card the deck like this, okay? Then you slide this card down, all right? And you push it back up with your thumb. So you slide down, and then you push up with your thumb. I mean, your what am I saying? Thumb, your pinky. <laughs> so remember, you hold it like this. So you ask them, what uh, pick a number between one and ten? Let's say they said five. Now remember, because you don't want to put down the blue card, or else they're going to know it's blue. So, you use, you just move that down. But from here, it's, I mean, it's an invisible move. You don't, no one sees it, really. Like, they just, they just do one, two, oopsies. Like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to pull out more than one. Which, that's why I usually do it a little bit faster. So, I'm talking to them. I'm like, okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I flip it over the jack of spades. Okay. So now I just put these ones back. So again, you, you, it's gonna, it might take a little while to, to master it, to just slide down. Then you're taking the cards out from here. Alright? Then you're just pushing it up. Then you're just turning it over. Alright? Then you don't want to flip it over, so you put it down like that. Alright? So that's the first part of the trick. So now you take it, and then you let them sign the card. Um, the card doesn't have to be signed. I sign it so they know that there's no switching going on. Or there's no duplicates. So then they sign it. Um, AS here. Alright. So. So then you let that dry. And again, you don't want to reveal that it's a blue back yet. So, obviously, the double back is right here, so you have to do a double lift. So you, uh, you can find a pinky break however you want it. I just usually just like do this, and I just stop there at the two cards. But you can find it anywhere. Um, so then you have it here like this. Then you take up both cards here, and you turn it over, just like basically showing that it's a it's a uh, red card without them realizing that's red because they think it's red. So when you when you're doing this, it's just sort of like it's like they're seeing the red back, so they're thinking it's red. It's just making them basically you're just showing them it. So yeah. Because they would... What am I trying to say exactly? Yeah. So you just have the red double back card. So they see that it's red. And so when you make it blue, that's when it, everything gets weird. So you just you don't say... Right, like, you don't usually say just memorize it. You just... 
you just have it here like this. You do the double lift. You just flip it around. It moves. So you you just flip it around like that. They see the red back. They memorize it without really consciously knowing that they memorize it. They flip it back over, and then you just put it in the middle, or you can flip it back over, take it off, and say, "I don't want to put this in your hands." Just like that. Then you say, on the count of three, the, your card is going to turn blue. One, two, three. Then you maybe snap, snap or something. And they flip it around into blue back. Or, I mean, um, you can get creative. But the way I did it was, um, you do the double lift. You take it up, you show it, right? You take it, you put it in the middle of the pack. Just like that. You put it in, which you can flip it around, show it that's going in on both sides. Right? You push it in. And all I have to do is snap your fingers, then the rest is just for their reaction. And then they go through, and there's one blue card in here, just like that. They take it out, they flip it over, and it's the signed card. Um, if they say, can I look at the deck, you're going to have to say, um, if, I let you, if I would let you do that, you would have to, I would have to kill you. Or if I let you do that, I would have to kill you, because of the dope black card. But, uh, I mean, you can just have fun with it, don't say no. Because that's just not right. But you can like make up, make up a joke or something. Um, but that's basically um, how to do that. It's a really cool trick. It is uh, definitely it gets your attention. That's for sure. Because they're not expecting to, for it to turn blue. So when it turns blue, that just like adds a whole nother uh, weirdness to it. All right. Well, that wraps up the trick tutorial. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate my videos. It's always nice to hear from you guys, see what you're thinking. Um, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.